Hey Rod Travelers, this is the latest video. This one is about a software product called Viber. And if you live in certain parts of the world, you're probably thinking, yeah, of course I know Viber. But in other parts of the world, you probably never heard of it. It's popular in certain places and it's not that popular in other places. But it doesn't matter where in the world you are, if you download Viber, probably the best place to download it is on your phone. You must install it either on a phone or some kind of a mobile device first before you can install it on your desktop. And it's a totally free app. You can get it from the Play Store, the Google Play Store, or you can get it from the Apple <coughs> application store. All you have to do is install it on your phone and then sign up for it. You need to have of course a valid phone number so because they're going to send you a text message to that file phone number in order to sign up for it and then once you sign up for it then you can also add Viber to your desktop if you'd like to or if, if you, it doesn't really matter you could just use it on your phone the version I you can see here is the, the desktop version actually it's the website for Viber so that's where you can find it Viber.com So why do I like Viber, especially if you travel a lot? In a lot of situations, there's a difficult time to find Wi-Fi or to find a good quality Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi that doesn't go down all the time or Wi-Fi that is fast. So if you have Wi-Fi, that's great. Then you could use something like Google Voice to call people back home or... You could use, for example, I have an international phone and I just have to get it on Wi-Fi and I can call anybody in the United States and Canada for free. It's included in my plan. But if you don't have that and you're using a SIM card outside of the country, outside of the United States or wherever you live, and you're using a SIM card in that country and you're using the data on that SIM card and you don't have Wi-Fi, then I suggest you use Viber because Viber you could add like 99 cents to your account and use something called Viber Out. And then with that, you can call to practically any phone in the world and the rates are really reasonable. In fact, they're pretty cheap. So if you use something like Skype, uh, you're going to have to join Skype. Well, there is a free trial for one month, but after that one month, you're going to have to pay a monthly fee to keep calling with Skype. But with Viber, there's no monthly fee. You just download I mean, you just add something like 99 cents to your account, and that's probably going to last you for quite a few calls. So that's what I suggest if you travel a lot and you're in situations where there's no Wi-Fi or in case of emergency, for example, if you have to call to the next country that you're going to and you're in a different country, uh, the SIM card is not usually going to get you to call, allow you to call to the other country. It's going to allow you to call only phones in the same country. So Viber is a good way to work around that. <laughs> that way you can call to the other country. And for example, if you need to make a reservation in a hotel, or if you're checking on something or somebody in another country, this is a great way to do it. So I hope to see you soon on another flight.